and you are an excellent leader. Good morning to one and all gathered here. A cordial welcome to the Chief Guest of the Function, Reverend Sister Dhanata, our correspondent, our Principal, Reverend Sister Fatima Pavani, sisters, teachers and my dear students to the special occasion of investiture ceremony of our school. Investiture means a formal investing of a person with a part, right and dignity. It said that leaders are not born, they are made. Our school believes that along with academics, students must develop personal qualities like respect, leadership, determination, confidence, etc. Now we are here to honor our newly elected leaders by shouldering the responsibilities of the school cabinet where these qualities found them. We evoke God blessings with a Bible reading and prayer. Now I request Pranavi and Jashmita Sri of 9th class to read the Bible reading followed with a prayer. Be upright, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is the word. Prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for all the graces and blessings which you bestowed on our institution. We surrender to you all those who have gathered. May you radiate joy and love in our hearts and minds, and may our lives bring glory to you. We pray for our chief guest, Reverend Sister Donata. We thank you, Lord, for her presence, and we ask you to meet and direct her according to your will and plan. And may all her dreams come true. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success, says Henry Ford. We are here as a school community to thank God for the gift of these newly elected, enthusiastic and dynamic leaders of our institution. Today is a special day for the school as the school bestows the governing charges for office bearers. It is a great honor to be chosen leaders as leaders in inspiration, integrity and optimism. Just as the wheel in the unity of its components moves through different contact points to complete your cycle, we, the school community, move through the academic year progressively. Let us pray for the spirit of unity and collaboration in the school community for greater dynamism and effectiveness. May the spirit of God be with us in all our activities at all times. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord Savior. To evoke the blessings of Almighty and to purify and prepare the state of offering prayers in the form of a dance, I would like to call upon prayer dance children.
ప్రభు నీవే తండ్రిని చేరగా మార్గము నీవే పరిశుద్ధతకు నిలవు నీవే తండ్రిని చేరగా మార్గము
Kondo, by Lok Sir. Neeraj Kumar, elected the school pupil leader. His ambition is to become an astronautical engineer. He is always all listening to music, reading books, and speed cubing, and he's all 3 into 3 and 5 into 5. His role model is Elon Musk, who is the world's richest person, CEO of Twitter, Tesla, and SpaceX. Do you, the members of this school, accept me as your SPL? Do you promise to be loyal to your school and me? We do. Will you cooperate to the best of your ability in keeping the school band of flying? We will. We are my sister Fatima Pauli and the, the principal and the chief guest of this function in the presence of the staff and the students. I ask the honor of the SPL to be given to me. I give you this honor with my blessing. Be faithful to your children. Secretary of the school to take a pledge of loyalty and service. 
hobbies are reading novels, dancing and singing. She is good at Kuchipudi and Bhattanatyam and won Guinness World Record in Bhattanatyam. Her role model is her mother, Mrs. Rujna Gaur. Thank you ma'am for being her supporting pillar. Do you, the members of the school, accept me as your secretary? We do. Do you promise to be loyal to your school and me? We do. Will you cooperate to the best of your ability in keeping the school band of line? We do. Reverend Sister Fatima Pawani, Principal and the Chief Minister of Function, in the presence of the staff and students, I ask that the honor of secretary to be given to me. I gladly give you this honor with my blessing. Be faithful to your children.
elected sports captain. His ambition is to become a good cricketer. He participated in district level under 16 Super 7 and stood third in the rank board. His hobbies are playing cricket and reading books. His role model is MS Dhoni. Do you, the members of the school, accept me as a sports and games captain? We do. Do you promise to be loyal to your school and me? We do. Do you cooperate to the best of your ability in keeping the school banner flying? We do. The principal and the chief guest of the function, in the presence of staff and students, I ask you the honor of sports and games captain to be given to me. I gladly give you this honor with my blessing. Be faithful to your duty. Jivan Deja from 10th Standard promised the principal on my honor to shoulder the responsibility of sports and games captain according to the rules and regulations of the school. I will try my best to cooperate with my fellow students and maintain the good discipline of the school. Electric Capture 
gave his pledge of loyalty and served to the school.
I will try my best to cooperate with my fellow students and maintain the good discipline of school.
Hospital of 98, elected St. Mary's Vice Captain. Her ambition is to become a doctor. Her hobbies are drawing and singing. Her role model is her father, Mr. Jay Ramalgar.
letting the most nimble go out ahead. So today, dear students, we have been electing, elected our leaders and you were the ones when they asked you your acceptance and what did you all say in the oath? We do. So which means you are accepting your own uh, students, your colleagues from, from your classrooms. You have elected as the leaders and you accepted them to be, to serve you as your leader of the school and especially to your captains, to, to your house groups. So today as we have uh, been elected, elected these uh, students, we especially as a duty of us, each one of you is uh, to respect your leaders since they have come from your uh, classroom and from your sections, from your uh, friends, they have been selected and chosen for the greater responsibility. You have to respect them as your as a leader and there is a respect to each other will lead to a leadership. There are, there are the young leaders to our, your our school and only leadership can turn the vision into success. So the duties of these leaders, what are they? They have to perform all uh, their duties within, within the school events. They have to take part in everything and especially the programs which will be held. They will be the first ones to lead you all and taking up, uh, doing everything in the service of uh, others. That is what their duty. So I first of all congratulate all the leaders for your uh, great willingness and initiative to stand to serve this uh, school as a leader. So give them a good round of applause for the <laughs> So dear leaders, with this do not forget you have to you have taken an oath. Now it's your responsibility to start with. So now take care of your each and everything of the school. And there are a disciplined uh, captains are there. It's a prime duty of the uh, disciplined uh, to be to have. First of all, you have to be a disciplined. Then you can bring in others a disciplined. So and also the house, other house captains, Saint Joseph, Saint Mary, Saint Dan, Saint Saint Anthony's, the house captains. You should have a, a competition to say in a in a sports or in everything that you come forward in the activities of the school and in this event our school will, uh, will be a, your, you have to work hard and see that who could be a, a best house out of the four houses. The leaders you have to be a, also uh, loving and kind towards the others as you expect your teachers and others to be loving and kindness in the same way you have to be a, a loving and kind towards the your colleague students and all the best for your uh, this uh, academic year whichever the event will be held you are the you have to put in all your efforts as well as your potentials and talents to bring it out this is a great opportunity for you to come out with the colors and do your best in the service of the school. So thank you thank one you. and all. Thank you, sister. accepting our invitation and being here with us to grace this auspicious occasion despite her busy schedule. 
I especially owe my heartfelt thanks to our well wisher, Reverend Sister Fatima Pawani, who always bestows kindness, hospitality, and witness support on all of us forever. I would like to take a moment to thank all my dear teachers for their immense efforts in making this program a grand success. My very, very special wholehearted thanks to Mr. Isaac and Suresh Sir for their complete guidance, commitment and steadfastity. I also thank all our parents for their unconditional love, encouragement and support showered upon us. Last but not the least, my special thanks to my co-cabinet members and other students for rendering kind cooperation in making our day a grand success. We, the cabinet members, will give a word of honor to our principal saying that we will put all our efforts in fully making every occasion that takes place a grand success. I ended with a quote, true leaders always practice the three R's, respect for self, respect for others and respect for their duties. I once again thank each and everyone for your support and making our function a grand success. Thank you. Yes, sir.